Hi everyone, I'm back and I'm doing a blog. Today is September 20, I guess I should look here, huh? September 23rd, just want to make sure, um, 2009 and um, it's Wednesday. Monday and Tuesday I was unable to work out so that really kind of bummed me out because I was kind of like on a roll there. But um, I live in Atlanta, Georgia, and or near Atlanta, Georgia, and we had a big, huge storm that caused a lot of flooding. So school was canceled on Monday, and it was also canceled on Tuesday, which means that um, normally you could just, you know, maybe just take the kids to the gym. But unfortunately, this time the roads were, there were so many floods and so many roads in, what do they call, um, holes and in, in the ground and um, just a mess um, so being the single parent that I am uh, I had to stay home um, I did notice that the more I stayed home the more I wanted to eat because we were kind of stuck in the house for a couple of days and couldn't go anywhere um, the biggest thing that I did I think was Tuesday is a couple of parents um, of my daughter's friends needed to go to work so the kids asked me if they could stay so I had kids here at my house on Tuesday and had to feed them uh, because we couldn't really go anywhere uh, I ordered pizza and they used to say I'm gonna let you know I have no willpower I just don't buy food because I know certain things I will eat if it's in the house so I just don't buy it and that's just been my philosophy for quite some time so um, yesterday I grubbed down. I had pizza, I had, uh, and it wasn't just any pizza, it was meat lovers pizza, so yeah, that was probably really good. Um, and then I didn't have any of the breadsticks, but I definitely had the cinnamon sticks, because that was pretty awesome. And ice cream, and it was just a bad day. So, but today we get back on the horse, and we start and keep moving, right? Okay, so the kids went back to school. And I went back to the gym and did cardio interval training, which I love. It's where you do aerobic exercise and then um, you stop and you do strength training. And then you go back to aerobics and then you strength train. And it's kind of cool and it kind of breaks up the cardio a little bit um, because I really need a lot of cardio in order to lose weight. So um, then I did strength training today. So I got on the machines, the FitLinks machines, and did all that. Uh, so I'm not as sore as I was last week, so that's kind of cool to know that, um, you know, it's a week gone by and I'm, it's not that serious. Um, a couple things I meant to tell you last week that I didn't get a chance to is the other thing that I've added to my diet is omega-3. So this I got, here we go, this I got from GNC, and this was kind of a low cost, most fish oil or omega-3 that I see is, is kind of expensive. It's like $46 and things like that. But this was 19 and, you know, taking it and hoping for the best. So I'll let you know how it works. It's supposed to be really, really good, not just for weight loss, but for your bones, your joints, digestion, and a whole bunch of other things. So in case you're like a Google um, search engine-aholic and you want to go ahead and look this up, um, omega-3, it's got a lot of good things. You know, I listen to Dr. Oz and talks really good stuff about this. The other thing I wanted to talk to you about because I love this. I absolutely love this and in the morning before I go to um, to the gym I drink muscle milk. I'd never heard about it before um, until I went to GNC and I was looking for a protein shake and um, this muscle milk you know I'm not endorsing anything or, or anything like that I'm just telling you this is what I do and um, this muscle milk is fantastic. I got cookies and cream, and I swear to God, it tastes like ice cream. I mean, I don't know if that's supposed to be like a good selling point, you know, if you're trying to lose weight or whatever, but um, cookies and cream, uh, this particular one, this was on sale. I guess it's normally like 40 something dollars, but at GNC, it was, it's on sale for 20 something dollars. And one thing I like about GNC is, is the people that work in there really know what they're talking about. So, she explained this one, and there's a couple of other protein shakes that you could probably use as well. It all, But this one is the one she says that people absolutely love the taste, and I get it, because this actually tastes like someone put some cookies and cream ice cream in a cup with some milk and stirred it. 
I mean, it, it is really, really, really good. Um, it does have 300 calories um, in it. So it's not like you can, you know, like eat breakfast and then drink this. You know, yeah. <laughs> I know sometimes some shakes are so good that, you know, you really would like to have it with something else. But no, that's not a good thing. So this has 300 calories. Um, and let's see. I won't get into all the other stuff. You guys could probably look it up. Um, but I love this, and I drink this in the morning before I go to the gym. Um, I try and drink it at least an hour before I'm um, before I'm um, headed to the gym. Otherwise, I cramp. And so far, I've not been really good because I have to get up really, really early, extra early to drink this before I go to the gym. So unfortunately, I made the mistake of drinking this, and I swear, like clockwork, yeah. I cramp up sometime during the um, during my cardio workout, during aerobics, or during a dance class, and yeah, I cramp up. But it only lasts for like a quick minute or so. It doesn't last very long, so I just keep pushing, and then pretty soon it's gone. I don't know it's there anymore. So that's what I do: muscle milk. Um, I do a lot of strength um, exercises. I mean, a lot. Um, and I, what I'm going to start doing is writing that up for you, and then maybe making it like a companion so you can see what I do. Um, just because, you know, I'm here to let you know this is my journey. And it's 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 difficult, you know. Um, I'm pretty heavy. I'm not talking about my weight. I'm going to tell you that right now. I'm not going to tell you how much it is until after I lose weight. Then we can talk. And I can tell you this is what I used to be. But I got pictures, so, you know, you can see the pictures. Some things I like about working out that... Are cool certain things I don't like for example those of us who are really heavy and then it may not just be those of us who are heavy you know we women sometimes we have issues so um, the mirror around the aerobics room okay whose idea was that I mean do I really need to see my fat behind jumping up and down and see exactly what I look like on um, you know the mirror I mean you know I, I'm really trying to like block that out because it's not cool uh, for me to see that, you know, and, and you know, sometimes a person wants to be in denial. Well, um, the mirrors aren't just there. The mirrors are also um, in the strength training machines. So you get a, see how we're talking right now? Imagine having a mirror on the other side. So you're sitting there and you're doing your strength training and you get to see your fat cellulite and all that. You know, that's not fantastic. So that's not one of my favorite parts. Um, but I do like meeting people, and I do like um, having people that go to the gym every day that I'm used to seeing, and that's pretty cool. So, you know, I'm making friends at the gym. So that makes me motivated to go because I can't wait to see this person or that person, and I stay out of the drama. I understand there's politics in the gym. Don't have it. Just there to train, not there for all the other extra. So, you know, I came across that today. But that's it. So anyway, you know, I've had to deal with, you know, some – strange events and we're back on track and um, doing what we need to do so all right I just want to let you know what's going on and um, stay motivated you know if you fall off the wagon let's get back on you know um, I use a lot of things that motivate me I watch Dr. Oz I watch the doctors in the morning when I get a chance um, I read um, I listen to what people have to say um, I watch Oprah, you know, I mean, I do a lot and, um, I'm trying to put all those things that I'm learning into, um, something that will help me and maybe other people. I watch The Biggest Loser, um, all the time to see motivated. So, you know, doing the best I can, man, and that's all you can do, you know, as long as you give it a hundred percent, what can you say? So with that, I'm signing off. It's Michelle Lindsay, 92309 for Single Parent Magazine's video weight loss blog. See you soon.